What's the bonus bonanza? Is that just more hints and stuff? Yeah, it's oh. another quiz. Oh, we can go from like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got fancy with the backgrounds here. It wasn't like the first game where they got uh, weird and just made it so Donkey Kong just like walks through like the trees and stuff. <laughs> right. Oh. Oof. I thought I hit the thing in time. Like it's not. It's weird having to pick it up and do it again for like. Yeah. Yep. An attack. Got some TNT barrels here. Oops. Dropped them on those rats. I'm gonna throw it out that guy. It's amazing how much of this aesthetic they were able to preserve going into like Donkey Kong 64. Oh, I'll probably yeah, bring yeah. But because it's the only Donkey Kong I've ever played. Never completed, but like played. I guess I've tried Tropical Freeze, but I just did not like it. You didn't like Tropical Freeze? It's funny. I, I feel like I'm insane for you're like it's, the only person in the world who doesn't like that game. I know that's like one of my favorite platformers. <laughs> but maybe, you know, maybe after playing this game, maybe it'll click with you. Maybe. Like you just, because that's sometimes how I am with games. It's, it's like, I'll play something and it's like, like, eh, this isn't working for me. And you then, right. And then I'll play something else that's like kind of connected to it. And then, um, it all like meshes together. I just fell a long way down. <laughs> you did. It's okay. It looks like you're almost back up there. Oh, oh, you got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. The Kremlins are armed. Yeah, this game looks really good, but it is really hard to tell like what's going on because they yeah. use sort of the colors. They use very realistic color palettes rather than ones that are like show distinction between the background and the foreground. Mm -hmm. Which is definitely something, for whatever reason, I just struggle with that in games so much. I don't know why. <laughs> but I think that's why platformers are tough. Because you have to like suss out what's the background and what's not. Whereas like if you have a 3D game, if you have like a camera, it's really, I think can... it's a little bit to figure out where in space you are I, in a weird way even though it's a more complex space right um oh, i did the same thing as i did last time how do i oh, I just did it. yeah I, I think uh just being able to like move a camera and, and pinpoint like oh i need to go there you know can can be helpful sometimes yeah, absolutely. Ooh, so nerve-wracking. <laughs> Any level in involving barrels that shoot you is always um, scary. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to like fall down again. Ooh. There we go. Nice. And there's the halfway point. That barrel right there. Skipped it. See, it blended in for me. I just like <laughs> it. Yeah, there's certain the art secrets are secrets in this game. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a certain level of like I don't know how to describe it. Um, Oops. Like, oh man, what would you call that? Um. Oh, I also died. Um, like not being able to tell where things are. Uh, no, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, like I guess just being able to 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 read the game, like to see, like because you know, like these games. Uh oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, these games have a certain like design literacy to them, you know that like. Once you understand how it's supposed to be read, then you can like, um, I die right here. <laughs> yeah. Go back to the checkpoint. Oh, so there, there is a secret over here and only you can get to it. So I'm going to switch to you. Okay. And, uh, you can see if you can twirl over there. Oh, 
I started too late. Oh well. <laughs> it's all right. The good thing is, is now we get to be placed back to the checkpoint. Oh yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? I, I totally got lost in that. Uh, I don't think I really had a point. <laughs> I oh. was just kind of rambling. <laughs> it's uh, okay. None to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I was, I was just saying, like, there's a certain way that these games are kind of, like, made. Where after a certain point, it's like you kind of, like, you, you get it, you know? Like, you understand, like, how everything's laid out. Yeah. I feel... Yeah, it's, it's, you said design literacy. I remember that term. Definitely, uh... That really makes sense. Okay, looks like we have to time our barrel jumps here. To the right, which way are we going? We're going left. I just wanted to see what was over here. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. There goes that treasure chest. Do those have treasures in them? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Cool. All right. Um, we got funky flights. Very, very ham-fisted way to get through that level. Yes. <laughs> but we did it. Uh-oh. <laughs> this this water. I don't like the look of this water. This is devil's water. <laughs> okay. So we gotta we gotta jump on the seal's back to uh, to treat the devil's water. So I think I think whenever you're underwater, you're like essentially timed. You're gonna be able to get out. Okay. So, like, yeah, it turns red after you know after a certain period of time. So let's see if we can get through here. Huh. Oh no! Oh dang! Okay, it's, we survived that somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I think I... Ooh, there's an invincibility. I think I, like, pressed left whenever we were traveling up and I hit the wall or something. Hmm. Let's see. Anything over here? No. This game uses really intense colors. It does. Definitely makes... I mean, I guess it looks good just because they do that. There's a high contrast of what's going on. Mm -hmm. they, I think they do a good job of making it look cohesive despite, you know, right. the, the range of... Uh, Is there anything up here? Another game that sort of did this, weird as it is, uh, Worms? Oh, the really? Worms Armageddon kind of has like the pre-rendered... It's the environments, not as much as the characters, but it has the pre-rendered, like, almost, like, actual pictures taken of the real world that are, like, the <laughs> level. Let's see, there's something I don't know how well versed in the Worms field you might be. Uh, like, I played the Xbox 360 one. Mm. Is it, that's not the one you're talking about, right? Um, no, I'm talking about Armageddon. This one, I think that was the one that they put on, uh... It was on computer, but also like N64, like late N64. Oh, really? I, I didn't play it until I got it on computer or like Steam. But it's like as old as it is and how like weird it is to like host online games. It's still like probably the best one. Oh, really? Um, I played it with Mitch some. Um, honestly, we, we tend to get into worms in the summers. So I, <laughs> I figured about time we started playing some more worms. <laughs> Summer worms. <laughs> Summer Worms. Yeah, I, I've played the Xbox Live Arcade one, and then um, there was another one that I played, and it was like the same thing, it felt like. I'm gonna go save at the college, perhaps? Sure. I Why does it back you out if you hit the control stick? Does it start costing to save? It does. After, after the first time you save in a world, then you have to pay money. And if you if you lose all your lives, you go back to the last save. So, gotcha. Okay, so I remember this level being hard. 
When was the last time you played this game? Uh, let's see. When did it come out on the Wii U Virtual Console? Like Ooh. 2015, maybe? Okay. A few years. Yeah. So this guy in the uh, in the barrel, the yellow Kremlin, he'll uh, if he hits you, you you lose bananas, which is kind of an interesting mechanic. I thought I was getting bananas from him. <laughs> they were out of his his little banana in barrel. Yep. So anyway, this this level is very strange. As you see, we're on a balloon. <laughs> Right, hot air balloon. Yeah, and uh, you you basically stick to the balloon, but you move left and right um, huh. to uh, travel. So it's it's very very strange. Creative, if nothing else. Right. Okay, so sometimes they like to put. Ooh, sometimes they like to put secrets in the walls, and if you ram into them with Ramby, you get the secrets. So that's what I was looking for there. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those so far. I think it's funny how the second player just floats. <laughs> they just kind of hang out. Wow. Yep. You know, another game I'm thinking that sort of does the same thing is Insane Aquarium, maybe? Aesthetically, it kind of reminds me of Insane Aquarium, if you know what I mean. Uh, which, which game? And it's called Insane Aquarium. It's a pop cap game. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Hmm. Um, that one, it's like, you know, like the Peggle realm. I thought, I, I figured you guys were Peggle lovers. <laughs> I uh, I is that a, is that a Peggle level? Uh, it's it's like made by the same people who made. Peggle. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I've played it, several Pop Cap games, but I have not played that one apparently. It's really good. I'd be I'd be down to stream it sometime. <laughs> uh, like what is is it, is it a puzzle game? It's, so basically, it's almost like a clicker game in the way mm. that you like level up your ability to like produce money Hold or whatever. On. Look right here. Do you see this? Uh, where <laughs> the graphics? Yeah, I think there might be a secret here. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> Good eye. Um, but basically, it's like a, it's almost like a clicker game, but you like feed fish and like fight off aliens and like buy new fish. Huh. It's like. It's really weird, but good. It does <laughs> sound guess. unique, yeah. It's incredibly unique, incredibly dated. Um, <laughs> it's probably like a dollar on Steam. I, hmm. I think I have it. I don't actually, I might not. Um, oh, there I go. <laughs> I, I misjumped. Oh, man. Well, let's give it a shot. It looks like if you go, oh, <laughs> there. <laughs> I tried to run. I forget it gives you like forward momentum on the attack. Ugh. Yeah, the rolling is definitely something that like you have to. This game has very unique handling. I don't say it's bad. I just don't. Un it's it's very unique. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to give it that level of uh, consideration. Yes. Um, let's see. Do I haven't seen it? I thought I haven't seen it. Before. What the heck? I should have it. <laughs> you should have it. I might have to go to like Steam's. I went through this phase a while ago where I like removed games from my Steam account mm. that I like did like, bundles. And I'm like, oh man, I wish I had those games back. But you can like get them back. Oh really? No. Yeah, you can like like contact support. There's like a support automation thing. It just puts it back on your account if you bought it before. Interesting. Um, Insane Aquarium Deluxe. It's not in my library. Well, the Steam Summer Sale is tomorrow, so. Oh, is it? Oh, nice. <laughs> so if I... you don't have it, then maybe maybe tomorrow's a good time to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. No, we we should. We should, uh, it's five bucks, but I'm sure once it goes on sale, it'll be like a dollar. Um, I'd say, uh, we should totally play that game. <laughs> sure. We can play it, it at some it, point. It would probably be like a one stream thing. It's pretty short, but, um, 
It's really funny. <laughs> that's 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 good to hear. I could like I could get it. I could keep an eye on it for the sale and like gift it to you. <laughs> you, you don't want. have to gift it to me. You can you can uh, stream it, or I I could just buy it. Okay. I mean, either way. I think I think no matter what. It's a, an experience worth having at this point. Okay, okay. So I, I definitely want you to play it. <laughs> sure. I, I'm, I'm like so focused here on this thing. That yeah, yeah, no, no, don't worry. No, worry <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm probably not, uh, not uh, providing the level of like excitement you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's in, it, you don't have any reference for like what it looks like. I know, I don't like. know what it is. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I'm just looking at pictures of it. I would be like, ooh, I wanna play it. I have two friends that own this game already. Mm. So basically cool. the most that I know about this game is that it's a cookie clicker-esque game where you feed fish. <laughs> basically, uh, and then like aliens show up every now and again. And there's you aliens. Like, yeah, it's it's a uh, um ooh, okay, there we go. Um yeah, it is it is very um it's weird. It's another game that's unique, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not in the same way that this game. How do I how do we get this one? Uh there might be a secret barrel underneath that. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for it. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? Actually, actually, I should show you a mechanic that's very unique to the Donkey Kong series, okay. Donkey Kong Country series. So, as you know, if you press Y, you spin, right? Right. So, right. you know, if you're if you're running, you'll just run off a cliff or an edge or whatever right here, like right, like I'm running off. But if I hold down the spin button, actually, I didn't do it right. If I hold down the spin button, you can kind of jump in midair. Huh. Do you see that? Like, yeah, I get it. Okay. It's, it's called a spin jump. So I wonder if you're supposed to do that right there. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it works. So, yeah, basically, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say there is that. Whenever you spin uh, in the air, you have an extra jump. Gotcha. Or maybe it's not an extra jump, but it's an additional jump. Oops. Ah, dang it. Yeah, the timing here is tricky on these. It's slower than you want it to be. Oh. <laughs> so okay. these guys... It, you can't tell just by looking at them, and that's something that's something that I do have to say is bad about the Donkey Kong Country game. Sometimes it's hard to tell when an enemy does just by looking at them. Um, but those those guys, right. what they do is they throw books at you or something. They throw something at you. Gotcha. Throw hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well front row seat to what that is yep uh i wonder if i can get that i don't know it's probably not worth it <laughs> oh so know. that barrel up there uh you need that barrel to access uh whatever's inside of it hmm. okay So what does Spelling Kong do in this game? Uh, it just gives you a one-up. Oh, nice. I you don't know You can basically if... blaze through these levels and suffer no consequences for the most part. <laughs> well, I mean, you can... If you get the bonus stuff, uh, you might have noticed some of the levels. Um, the name changes. Oh. It, it adds an exclamation point to the end of the, the level's name. Oh, I um, didn't realize. And so that, that means you've collected everything in that level. I don't know if the Kong letters count towards that in this game. I know what they do in the later games. Um, 
but for this one, I'm not sure. Okay, so here we have another animal friend. Uh, yeah. This one, this is Squawks. He was in Donkey Kong 64, I think. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. He like talks to you for way too long. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, he's basically like, um, basically the same as like the swimming controls, more or less. Yeah, that um, makes sense. But you can shoot eggs. He's like, uh, yeah, I was going to say something like, yeah, I guess like early, um, or I guess not early, just N64 games in general are very like heavy on the talking birds. <laughs> you know I mean? That's the first time I've ever heard that, I, I think. Super Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Wait, what, by Proctor. Ask. What talking bird did Super Mario 64 have? I don't remember. Uh, the owl. Whenever you like get him out of the tree. Oh. I guess the owl is also in. There's also an owl in Ocarina, but then you got like Squawks oh, in 64, and geez, it feels like there's like a million just <laughs> birds that talk. Like, I guess that'd I, be I've never, I've never thought about that, huh? Uh, Kind of a, a realization I just had. <laughs> well, thankfully, Squawk doesn't talk about anything in this game, so. Yeah, he just, he just knows to shut his trap. <laughs> you just reminded yes. me, um, Donkey Kong 64, a lot of the characters talk. In fact, King K. Rule talks in that game, too, I think. Huh. Oh. Alright, go. You yeah. can get that barrel. This part's tough. Can I shoot it with the. Oh, you might have to touch it. There you go. Are those guys wearing bandanas? Oh, yeah. They're pirates. <laughs> oh, of course. Ooh. Woo! Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, they, they always get you, don't they? You think you can outrun them, but you can't. <laughs> Just let them pass. Oh, I'm. Oh no, I went. I was going too fast. <laughs> this is a long level. It is, dude. I feel like I can. I gotta say, playing is kind of nice because um, I feel like I can give better like quicker response to most things that happen. Oh yeah, because there's no delay. Yeah, I can just be like, what you're hearing is not like making up for anything. It's just pure experience, I guess. Mm -hmm. I kind of went dumb brain for a sec. Well, well I talking. mean, like I said, it's hard. It's hard to play and talk. Especially the <laughs> We kind of did. Did we talk about this on? I think briefly. Sunshine. Maybe maybe off stream. But yeah, it's it's definitely it's it's very difficult to focus and also provide you know some sort of interesting insight. <laughs> oh yeah. I did not wait for those to return. The impatient gamer's dilemma. Ooh, ooh, he's dropping. <laughs> All right, easy does it. Straight up the middle. Ooh, ooh. Think you got it. There's a rhythm. I'm going where the bird sign, the no bird sign is not. I guess. <laughs> Isn't that so cruel? <laughs> That's animal cruelty. Wait. Oops. Hmm. Weaver's kill. Okay, so this is the boss for this world. It's literally a sword sticking out of lava. That's. <laughs> Oh, and you throw cannonballs at it. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
Who would have thought? That's actually kind of cool. I have to like cross the thing. Yeah, we'll see how cool it is whenever we do this for like the 50th time. <laughs> I, I'm remembering that this one kind of gets tricky uh, as we go. So he, hmm. he goes into the lava here. And then, oh, he pops out. Get away from me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so I, I think you have to move to the other side. I thought he would just follow me, but apparently <laughs> not. It's fun because I get to die and then look up at the stream and watch myself die again. <laughs> So this, this first part isn't too bad. No, it's not bad. So out of all the platformers you mentioned earlier, did you say that Celeste is your favorite? Um, I don't know about my favorite, but maybe. I like Celeste, I never, I never did the B-sides or anything, but I really enjoyed it. Um... Hmm... Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> there's a- there's a delay of whenever he, like, hits you or whatever there. Here, I'll let you yeah. do this part first. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds probably more appropriate for my skill level. Yeah, uh, Celeste. It's funny, Celeste is one of those games that I kind of wrote off whenever it first released. Just because huh. it was like another super hard 2D platformer, you know, like I feel like there's like a million of those, right? Yeah, for sure, especially now. And uh, and then, you know, everybody was like, oh, this game's awesome. And then there was somebody, there was somebody who messaged me. I'm trying to remember who it was. Somebody, somebody told me like, you have, you have to play this. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay, sure. I'll play it. <laughs> and, uh. Really good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's excellent. It's, it's incredible. High opinion of that game. I, that might be my favorite platformer, honestly. Just because like. It's not one that punishes you particularly. Like, it punishes you really hard, I guess, as far as, like, difficulty of levels. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make you suffer if you mess up. Right, you're just back at the same screen. Right, you, you have another opportunity instantly. So for that reason, I like it because it's super fast-paced, gets to the point. I feel like it strikes a good balance between old-school toughness and new-school people just wanting to chill and play video games instead of, mm -hmm. like, everything. Like a, you know a death march right right so it's just you know it's it's much more modern uh game design than what you would find in something like this i think so i think it retains a lot of the the positive elements mm -hmm. why does it count down so you can move that and you have five seconds to do so Okay. So this is just a teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh I slid. <laughs> you got you I by had, the like, tail. My eyes got dry all of a sudden, and I had to like blink. <laughs> I blinked at exactly the right time. You see, my problem is that I don't blink. <laughs> oh, my eyes, I've just been dealing with allergies. Mm -hmm. or I guess not even allergies. I just like actually got sick. Oh. Um, <laughs> so I've just been like. Dealing with like what I thought was a sinus infection. Maybe it is allergies. I don't really know. But um Yeah, I've just been dealing with that. It's like tough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, allergies are always they always suck. Yeah, big time. Ooh, you can take the 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 dude number up. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Uh, he hits these guys. Oh, there he goes. He just ran into the swamp. Oh, man. We're going to do our 
twisty jump there and I should have aimed straight for the other barrel. <laughs> it's all good. Now I know to uh, keep it easy. If I get that far, which it's likely I won't. Oop. Give me calm. So, no, I do have some good news about this world. This is the world with the uh, the lovely music, the, the song everybody loves, so. Ah, that is good. I can never remember if it's Sticker Bush Symphony or if it's... Fresh. Yeah, I can never recall which one it is. Oh. Uh-oh. I just got like, bumped. You did. I gotta do the spin jump. So it's like an actual game mechanic. It is. And Not just this physical. first game kind of teaches you it. And this game, like, doesn't. <laughs> okay. It's like, oh, you should know how to do this already. Uh-oh. What? How do you... Do you have to jump over him? You can't, like, hit him? You can't roll into him? No, you have to hit his head. Give him a good bonk. 